Why is my bitrate so hot here? What? It's like a little thing just happened to my bitrate. Am I actually developing frames? Doesn't look like it, what the fuck? It's not updating at all. Okay, what the fuck is that? Oh, that seems to be fine. Alright, um, so... We were looking up information. I thought you said school had gotten you used to crowds. I don't know this the summer vacation edition of Shibuya. The swarm of party is? It's too much. Uh, and even ignoring that, going up to people I don't know and eavesdropping on them or pumping them for intel is way out of my league. That's true. He's right, leave this to us. You've got the online for This should be helpful. <clears throat> I can lend you a hand for Taba. We can both lock down the online front. Thanks, Sophia. Time to join forces as a Cyber Sleuth Pacty. Oh gosh, Cyber Sleuth. I played that Digimon game. Nice recruiting. Thanks! <coughs> Made eight in your quest for intel. What An SP item. I should write something. Interesting. That was more popular than I imagined. I wouldn't be able to avoid hearing people speak of her even if I wanted to. So, Alice in Wonderland. I admit, it's an intriguing, visually striking space to work within as an artist. Okay, you see it? Can I actually go here? Man, that would suck if your company forced you to wear jackets to work during the middle of summer. That'd be awful. I guess I could go to Central Street, right? Alright, dude. I think I found someone that was in the jail. He come to the alley behind the airsoft shop. That's where I was going, actually. I wanted to go say hi to Eli. I can't go in. Hmm. I figured Eli would know about Shibuya, but there's not much we can do if he's not sick. Hey! They got the guy with the brown hair. Wasn't he at Alice's thing? Hmm? Come on, man. I need the money, please. Again? I just lent you money for all the Alice obsessed bullshit. I know, but there's a new Alice original coming out and I really, really need it. Like, I won't even be able to think or breathe if I don't get it. I have the brown hair. It's the same guy we saw before, right? Dude, why are you suddenly so obsessed over some random ass idol in the first place? Are you serious though? You actually went to a loan shark? I can't believe it. So he's bor borrowing from shady lenders, only to get shady merchandise in return. That ain't normal. And then the other guys say he suddenly got upset. Could be the influence of the metaverse? No. <coughs> Wait, suddenly it's 46%? What the fuck? Oh, I see that the bitrate that's finally normalized. Alice? Of course I've heard of her. Everyone in the class has. In class has. Especially the boys, they love her. Okay. My friend's boyfriend even went as far as breaking off their relationship all because they, he took it and stuff that he just... They should know she's cute and all, but cute enough to leave someone alive. I... I... <coughs> her, 
her like normal idol shit, I don't really get at all. You can. Well, I'm so sorry, we're all sold out. We only put them out ten minutes ago, but the fans came in and swept them all up. Really? I guess it's possible, but those fans have some dedication to buy it out so fast. Was that really that important? What? <sighs> Many people went crazy for her stuff, but this is something else. I keep hearing stories about a relationship going south, or even the folks ending up hospitalized for her exhaustion. And Alice's name always comes up. Do you really have something to do with all of it? Oh, but yeah. how and why? I guess there's no point in getting stressed over it now. Yes. Ah! Yeah, just hearing the perk my bell. I mean, there's no reason not to go all out at this point. Let's throw a triple scoop of vanilla and have gold mixed with it, okay? Hmm? Dedicated woman? What? Oh, the Big Bang Burger. Over 24 hours a day because there's no day or night in school. Hi, welcome! <clears throat> Go ask someone else. Alice is the type who toys with people's lives. She only cares about the fans lining her pockets. Not wrong, probably. Hey there. Ooh. Wait, is this is this drugstore literally called Bluebeard? <coughs> That's super recommended. <laughs> That's super. Um, I don't want to have one at the very least. Hi, welcome. What can I get for you? See you again. I don't think I need any of that. Hmm? <laughs> so Dragon Like a Yakuza is finally out. I can't just go by myself though. Gonna grab a couple <laughs> tickets. How long have you been there? No, I need the the poster just caught my eye at all. Anyway, I heard quite a few employees at this theater were all the go all of a sudden. Rumor is it's all because they weren't fans of Alice. What's that about? No one gets fired for such an absurd reason without something going on behind the scenes. I mean, if that was some piece of intel, why didn't you get anything like that? Hey, hey. Also, I love that they, they made a Yakuza reference there. Great. Would Haru have anything interesting to say? I'm gonna say no. I peeked into a store in 705 a few moments ago, and all the customers had the, that invitation card. Her number of friends is probably increasing as we hmm? You have something new to say? See you later! Once I've had my brain fruit, I'll get back to gathering into all right now, no. So you can go here. Buy you fancy jewelry, take you out to the finest restaurants, and I'll sign my life over to you mm -hmm. if I could. Yeah, damn. I've heard of being crazy for someone. This is a way too much. Huh, that's the last piece of the job. <coughs> How's the information source going? Why don't we meet up and share what we've what got? What are you gonna so do? I don't know what the... Uh, 
the trophies are for this game, but I feel like I may end up 100%ing this off stream. Likely. Um, can I actually cross it? Oh, this is actually everything that you can find. So. Damn it. Okay, well, I guess... So, how'd it go? Anyone learn anything useful about potential victims? Yeah, we spotted a couple familiar faces. We found some of the people who were attacked in the jail. You really found them? Which means the ones ambushed in the jail were indeed only their shadows and not their human forms. But there's still one thing. They're all acting real weird. Weird how? They're all totally crazy for Alice. They're even getting loans so they can buy more shit at her store. That's pretty weird. Now that you mention it, I saw others behaving similarly in Shibuya. Yeah, like this one couple nearly splitting up when the boyfriend bought everything Alice-related he could find. There were even people let go from their jobs because they weren't Alice fans themselves. I've even found some reports of Alice fans straight up assaulting outspoken critics of hers. At first I figured Alice was just the latest fad, but this seems so much worse than that. Maybe the people who had the desires taken from them went crazy. If that's the case, then we have to do something. Agreed. If such aberrant behavior continues to rise, we could easily find ourselves in an unwinnable position. With the metaverse involved, we're the only people who can stop this. Mm-hmm. We have to help! It looks like you've finished gathering intel on Alice's victims. Would you like to investigate her next? Wait. Ow. Ow. Yeah? Yes? Yep. Let's break for today and pick this back up tomorrow after your trip. Good luck with the Alice visit, you three. Thanks. We're on it. Wouldn't it be you four? <laughs> I made my way back, back to LeBlanc. <clears throat> oh, it's right up going to the next day. Okay. Oh, heading out? Don't be too late coming back. But not that that police dude, the the investigator, I guess. Looks mm, like his hair. Boss, this curry is fantastic. Okay, oh, totally is. Thanks. So this is going out live, huh? Even I'm starting to get a little nervous. You still good? Hey, stay in the bag. If they find out we brought a pet in here, they'll kick us out. A pet? Quiet on the set. Oh, well, I guess if I can't be seen, you two do your best to blend in too. We're fine. All we're gonna do is watch. Should I also make efforts to blend in? Yeah, just hang tight for a bit, Sophia. No problem. Ooh, here she comes. Miss <laughs> Alice on the set! I still do not like that outfit. She looks she like a really is adorable. I don't like Running back from commercial. Shit. Back in five, four, three. And now, on to the hottest meet and greet segment of the show. We have a special guest with us today. She has taken the fashion world by storm and conquered it. Please welcome the designer, Alice Hiragi. Uh, thanks for having me. <laughs> like Thank you for though. joining us, Alice. You sure have been keeping busy these days, haven't you? It's only thanks to all my fans that I've been able to do what I do. And what a number of fans you have. Talk about strong support. Am I wrong to presume that you designed the outfit you're wearing today? It's just so cute. Very expressive. <laughs> Thank you so much. The theme of my current line is Alice in Wonderland. <laughs> 
I feel like fashion is a rare and beautiful thing that can take anyone into a world built on their dreams. I mean, I you think taking the, the, the potion or whatever the fuck is you didn't the right even know part you of their hair and the tea fashion cup is a little Fashion can do so much for us. I try my fun. hardest to focus on that whenever I design a new piece. Such wise words from a successful industry veteran. What inspiration originally spurred you into fashion design, if you don't mind? <laughs> to be honest, I was very shy growing up. I didn't have any friends at school. I would get so lonely. I wanted to change so much, but I just couldn't figure out how to do it. Then, one day, I saw the most beautiful dress in a shop window. When I put it on, the whole world felt new. It was like I was hit with this blinding ray of light. I really can change. That's what wearing it made me think. I strive each day to give that same feeling to every person who tries on one of my designs. I want to give that ray of light to others. That's what inspired me to enter the fashion industry. Really? Huh. <laughs> now I can Wait, see I why the young people love like you so much. Designer. How do you handle all the dating? Both? Rumors. Uh, uh, Is he good? Uh, what? Uh, <laughs> Is it happening life on air right now? Uh, oh. <clears throat> What's going on? I don't get it. Is this some kind of scripted thing? I wonder what's wrong. <laughs> Are you okay? Uh, Alice. I... I love you, Alice. Please, spend your life with me. What? <laughs> uh, hey, w what is all this, huh? I didn't realize until now. I love you. Uh, this is really out of the blue. All right, stop it. <laughs> yeah, this bit's going on a little too long. I mean it. I can't live without you. What? What, what in the hell? And what about me, asshole? Is this real? Those two are engaged already, right? Wow, oh, what God. a train wreck. I can't believe this. <clears throat> Cut the commercial! Now! I'm begging you, Alice, please! Just shut up already! What has happened to you? What is this mess? <laughs> wait, wait. I completely missed the expression on Alice's face. I think there was something odd about it. That that was it's actually the pancake live on area. TV, right? Ooh, can't believe he spilled his beans like that. Even I thought he went overboard with it. So then do you think that host had his desire taken by Alice? Um I think the logical thing to say is either maybe or can't know for sure. Yeah, but I sure can't think of any normal reason a TV host would do that. True. You're a different breed of people. It didn't seem like he was in his right frame of mind. Like he wasn't even there and someone else was controlling him. Morgana, that's it! I don't know if all this is right, but his personality changed like when someone's heart was stolen. After the treasure? Maybe Alice can control anyone whose desire she steals. If the desire is turned over to the ruler, they wind up under their control. Like with Alice. I see. That would really explain it. Amazing as always, Lady On. But that would mean... He's yeah, looks like it. <laughs> Alice said she wants to be a ray of light for people. That's what I've always wanted, too. I read about her in a magazine once, and I just really felt where she was coming from. It's why I asked to come to the show in the first place. I wanted to see her in person. But now, I wonder if that was all just... Lady on. That was... Alice? Quick, hide! 
Why the fuck would she be so loud? Miss Alice, this is a public hall. Please, you must keep your voice down. Uh, the reasonable fine. man. See? No one in sight. <laughs> anyway, though, did you see that lady's face? She totally lost it up there. All those cushy, talking head types make the best faces when things finally stop going their way. Miss Alice, do you think you could stop doing these things? Huh? What do you mean? I was the victim on stage. <laughs> what is it that you want me to stop doing? I... I don't know how you're doing it, or why. But after seeing that, there has to be something. You... Even before oh, he straight kills a man. So here. you want me to punish you again? Oh, God. Ah, please! I'm sorry. Just like what happened on set, a terrible accident. I'm still upset over it too, you know. Isn't it your job to take my side? Or are you asking to end up broken like my last manager? Do you want to get stuck up in your room like he is? Uh. Well, it doesn't matter anyway. I don't want toys that don't do as they're told. Stop! Oh, hey, that's the what our shadow says. Then well. beg me to forgive you until it hurts as much as you hurt me with your words. Why don't you do what you did yesterday? Grovel with your face all messed up with snot. I'll take another video if you'd like. Come on, beg. Do it! Do it! I'm not gonna stop until you do, got it? <sighs> hey, the guy sounds like he's in real pain. If she doesn't cut it out... Hey, stop! And who is this? Cut <laughs> the sadistic crap. It was way too far. You said you wanted to be a ray of light for people. How the hell does that help? Uh. Oh, <laughs> we were just playing around, weren't we? Yeah. So you'll go get the car now? Oh, hey, wait! I feel like she's gonna yell. Hang on, uh, are you <clears throat> on Takaki? Uh, wait, she actually You knows. know who I am? What? Yeah! I know all the models. I read every fashion magazine the day it comes out. Actually, I really admire you. Would you like to be friends? You obviously got Emma, right? <laughs> My keyword is... Don't bother. I'd never accept someone who treats another person like that. Aw, too bad. But I do appreciate honesty. So, how about you? Would you like to be friends? Apologize to your manager first. <laughs> like I said, we were just playing around. Hey! Hang on, you were at 7.05 the other day. Yeah, I wanted to, to be able to have You're said, done here. I already am. Let's go. <laughs> <sighs> That's a bummer. But I know I gave him one of my cards. Why doesn't he obey? So she straight up knows what she's doing, okay. And then I stormed out and we came back here. Sorry about that, by the way. I was just so upset. No apology needed. You did a fantastic job finding out about Alice. Yeah, it's all thanks to you, Lady On. Once Lady On had her on the ropes, she whipped out her phone and tried adding them all on Emma right away. From what we saw, she might know that she can use Emma to lure people into her jail. She gets them into her jail, then takes their desires so they'll do what she says. I suspect she's been doing this for a Wait, while now. Instead of house rulers, do we just that call them wardens now? Things. But what is her end goal? I can't imagine such awful behavior actually doing her any good. Is it the same as with Kamoshira? That's a good point. Ugh, she seemed to be having a blast being such an awful person. Whatever it is, she has the gall to set up that kind of tragedy on live TV. She isn't in her right mind anymore. The longer we leave this be, the more victims that pile up. And it's already gotten to be quite a pile. Now's the time to act. But just how should we act? 
Is there a treasure in her jail? That's the tricky part. I am picking up a faint scent of something treasure-like, but... Hmm. What is a treasure? It's the condensed core of a ruler's desires. That's what gives birth to a palace and powers it. Usually, we just take the treasure to trigger a change of heart in our target. Hmm, that's interesting. What if there is no treasure there? We can't change Alice's heart. For now, let's focus on tracking the treasure-like scent Morgana mentioned. That should at least put us on the trail for clues. Question. Why must we change Alice's heart? Why? Because she's hurting people. So Alice only needs to be stopped. Changing her heart is unnecessary. No, beating her shadow won't is, help. Is the AI straight Worst up case scenario, us to her? it could wind up causing her to die in the real world. Death. That is an acceptable outcome. What? Dude, that's... I'm humanity's companion. I'm supposed to determine the best choices for humanity. Jesus. How does he makes people suffer every day? We should ensure she stops this as soon as possible. Why not do so? I actually like all three of these. I don't know. Let's just say this. Yes, I went up to her. I do not understand. I, I do oh, see fuck. where you're coming from. I want to understand, but I cannot. Where is the flaw in my logic? Alice is doing horrible things. We could just help all those people without caring what happens to her. The metaverse is serious. You can end a life without ever being endangered. Even still, we always choose to change someone's heart instead of harming them. It's part of the Phantom Thieves code. That's Make right. That acting cool. Kind of pointless if we gotta stoop to the bad guy's level to take him down. We never kill. We steal the desires of the wicked and make them change their ways. Mm-hmm. That's why we're the Phantom Thieves of Hearts. Phantom Thieves of Hearts. I've got it. Hearts. I lack a heart. That's why I don't understand the logic of the Phantom Thieves. If only I could understand how hearts work. If I did that, I could become an even better companion. Sophia? I've got it. I will join the Phantom Thieves. I need to learn more about hearts so I can become an even better companion. May I join the Phantom Thieves? If I do so, I am certain I will witness many things about the human heart. I need to learn more about the heart and about the Phantom Thieves. Thank you. Thank you for joining, Sophia. Welcome to the Phantom Thieves. Glad to have you with us. Let's pick our code name next. Ooh, now the nostalgia's blowing. Oh god. <laughs> Mochi. <laughs> I mean, her persona is kind of like snowflakes or snowdrops. I don't know. Because of all the white? Sounds like a dog's name to me. It does Maybe sound like a you. name for a white dog. Or maybe an ironic name for a black cat. Or maybe we should avoid picking anything that makes her sound like a pet. Oh, what Sophie. if we went along the same lines we used with Mona-chan? After all, we met her inside the metaverse the same way. Like, how about Sophie? That's basically her name. That is basically like her it. name. You do? I want to be Sophie. Then you'll be Sophia in this world and Sophie in the metaverse. Radical, dude. Oh, oh God, Jeez. please don't. You're already more human-like than when we first met you. I am constantly learning things, thanks to the internet. I'm learning more words as I speak. Don't pick up any off-putting lingo, okay? Okay, so we got a new member. Now we need to come up with our first mission. Sort of by the end of the playthrough, she's saying shit like, Looking cool, Joker. I'm gonna kill someone. Good. This feels like our duty. Considering we became Phantom Thieves to help anyone suffering. I was one of those people once. Good Joker. Whatever the fuck you I may not know the victims here. personally, but it would reflect on us poorly as Phantom Thieves to not lend a helping hand. As long as there are people in trouble out there, we won't turn our backs on them. You're right. We are going to be the ray of light for everyone. 
that even includes Alice. I have registered myself as a phantom thief. All right, the phantom thieves are back in action. I wonder if you could fight as Futaba as well in this game. Oh, what? Oh, oh hold up, hold up, what? The bond feature has been unlocked. As the Phantom Thieves deepen their bonds, they will acquire various bond skills. Bond skills can be purchased with bond points by navigating to a bond on the command menu. Bond points are acquired by raising your bond level. How do I do that? Bond level increases through socializing events in the real world or by fighting battles in the metaverse. Our uh, next step is to make right? the proper preparations. Okay. It's a fact that provision is prevention. We'll all need weapons and other supplies. Is Eli still Since around? you're the guy with all the connections, we'll leave the shop into you like always. We'll get ourselves ready. Once you are too, I want to go just see hit us Eli. up. Yeah, I hey. Let's say we start with the closest destination and head to Takemi Medical Clinic. Oh, I'm fine with that too. Our medicine sure worked wonders for us before. I'd feel way more reassured if we took some t uh, with us this time too. Yeah. Wait. What's up? Coffee. Don't come in so suddenly, then leave in such a rush. What are you guys getting up to? The same old shit. I wonder if there's. there's no puzzles to increase the love. Intelligence. Alright, let's go run to the Kemi room. Internal clinic you were talking about? Yeah, but there's a notice here. Notice closed for summer. I'll be attending an academic conference that will be out for the summer. Signed decision. Decision? I. Well, at least we can still get some weapons at EY's air shop. Soft shop, right? That's closed too! Oh! Oh, oh, hey. Wait a minute. If I talk to the Tala Makoto here, do we get bond hey. points? Looking okay, over how useful am I? Is this for now? Just for me? I put together an entire meal, give me a nutritional breakdown, and even show me the closest place of ingredients. All I had to do was ask what I should do about dinner. Pretty easy to see why people are such fans. Then I remember that this app is what lets us get into the metaverse and I got creeped out all over. Now then. Oh, 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 oh. Hm. Bond is now accessible from the command menu. Spend bond points to obtain bond skills and enhance the abilities. Good skills are locked by a level cap. Yeah. Let's see. Do I have bond mm. points? I have five. Shadows in the jail were really starting to get me. I think it'll be more useful if I observe their real world versions more. Maybe? Worth a shot. Wait, you have more to say. See you later! Don't sweat too much getting ready, apparently. Back to the Velvet Room. Persona Fusion? Welcome to the Velvet Room. The gears of fate turn yet again. Bringing you close to calamity once more. While your hope may be the smallest of seeds now, and its true power unknown, 
By nurturing the possibilities within you, this seed shall sprout and become your strength against calamity. Now, I shall act in my master's stead and watch over you through your journey. Yes, I share the sentiment. As you already know, your power of the wild card allows you to wield multiple personas. By offering up your personas for execution, cool. you are able to fuse them into new, more powerful ones. I wonder this if I can get the Satana the key to overcoming the evil will spreading distortion. Due to my master's absence, I will perform the executions with my own personal Speaking fusion of. equipment. Unfortunately, this means you will be unable to harness the power of personas you once harbored within you. How Wait, why is that? However, uh -oh. this journey is sure to draw out your true potential should you make the most of your meetings. <laughs> Soon it will all be clear. Trickster, you have once again become a prisoner of fate. Unleash the chains that bind you and take back the people's hearts, their desires. Doing so will surely lead you to the hope that will drive off the impending ruin. Leave it to me. As long as your will is undeterred, I too will hold nothing back in supporting you. With that address, let us turn at once to Persona Fusion. In the Velvet Room, you can fuse or strengthen your personas. Visit here and continue create to create more powerful Use personas. Two persona. yep. Use a number of personas you can we have to create a new persona. The personas used in the fusion will be lost. In order to give to fuse a given persona, Joker's level must be greater than or equal to the new persona's starting level. For tips on um, fusing strong personas, please check the fusion tip tips in the tutorial section. Please select the persona to acquire. It seems that it can gain new power. Does it get levels as well? Choose which skill to inherit. Yeah, it's possible. Either healing or. It's fire. Is this the persona you'd like? Yeah, I guess. Be born anew. Oh, this is different. Modus of what gives me strength. Okay. I wonder if I can fuse Blightcorn and, uh. You've tapped I did get into a, level. a new. Strength, okay. You wish to strengthen it? By spending persona points, you can level up your persona. Be aware the personas only be leveled up as far as Joker is concerned, level as your persona through the story. You'll be able to strengthen your personas in other ways than leveling them up. Persona points are obtained through either picking up the mask or persona you are already carrying, or through fusing or releasing personas. I like this system better. I'm going to be honest. A little bit, at least. How much power will you add? So this is predetermined, or is this? How much power will you add? How much power will it you looks add? predetermined. How much power will you add? It is predetermined, so it's not anymore like our fucking reroll, reroll, reroll kind of bullshit that the other one had. How much power will you add? Yeah, I have enough persona for one. This is what you chose. Yes, Hey, your persona has grown. This process can be repeated to draw further. One way to consider persona is that it's the other self. Their growth is your own growth as well. Please make wise use of this. Okay. Our sandalwood is a new skill. Increase attack damage. That's always kind of decent. Well, the persona you have previously registered can be summoned for a fee. Alright. 
You wish to browse the entries? Please take a look. Is this okay? Can I do that again? You already possess that persona. Awaken your new self. So wait, I am forced to keep our sand in this game? Because it looks like I can't fuse him. Yeah, Whenever you feel the need for more, come visit me at any time. I oh. Probably something like, I'll always be here for your rehabilitation. Well, I'm assuming. Seriously. Man, Morana, out of everyone out here, I would assume that you were the one that would be able to see the Velvet Room as well. I guess not. Really? Maybe. I don't... I don't fucking know. You was should be here, but they're closed. Those temporary close signs up. For what? Let's head back. Let's to figure out something else. Let's brainstorm with LeBlanc. I wonder if I can go see a movie. But I was already concerned about how things were going in the city, but now I know that this is all part of some chill. I don't even want to consider how all of these people are shadows in this world. But all of them? Hey, hey! Hey, hey! Hey, anything interesting to play another way of time on? But I want it! Wait. Hey, hey! Wait, no, no, no. She's not. I want to. Okay. I was gonna see if I could find that, like, that poster from the Yakuza one. The airsoft shop's closed. Takemi Clinic's shut down for summer vacation. Where are we gonna get our weapons and medicine now? Talk about shitty timing. This is not good. We can't just return to the Metaverse defenseless. Guess we gotta find some other stores. That seems like it'll take quite some time. What's up? Have a problem? Perhaps I can help. If you would like. I'm In the happy to like, hand. just go to 705 oh, yeah. store. Check this out, Sophia. We need supplies to take with us into the jail. Unfortunately, our usual suppliers are closed. This will assuredly impact our successes in the metaverse. Do you know if there are any suitable stores nearby? Why not just order supplies online? We uh, could do that, but the delay between ordering and actually getting the stuff is way too long. Also, we were able to get much more effective oh, medicines from bad, our clinic really. than we could find online. No prob. The net has it all. Ryuji, is there something you want? Huh? What do I want? Right. Request anything you want. Uh, okay. A gold bar. <sighs> really? Don't be ridiculous. Ah, come on. It was just a joke. Nothing else popped into my head when she asked, so... Okay, I've got it. Please wait. Hmm? Got what? Hello? Expedited delivery! What? Well, uh, did you really order a gold bar? Uh... Whoa! <laughs> well, someone should open it. Gee, this is your doing! Open it! What? Me? Well, of course. <laughs> Wait, it is, right? Shit, this is probably just gonna be fake or some toy. Super shiny. Uh, oh, they didn't even is show that it. Real? Holy shit, what have I done? <laughs> <laughs> yes, my eyes can't be fooled. There's no doubt. That's real gold. No way. No way is that real. Hello. Now I can open my cafe early. It's like a dream. <laughs> Th that needs to go to the police. Right away. Oh, wait. They even believe it showed up like this? Is this a crime? It's okay, everybody. All right. Did that solve your problem? How did you do that? I found an online vendor with expedited delivery. Time is no longer a concern. But the cost. A whole gold bar? We're 
Where'd you find that? The dark web? Correct, Futaba. It's fine. I broke no laws. The transaction was made with cryptocurrency. I will send you an invoice for reimbursement. We oh have God. to reimburse you? So, uh, how much did this cost again? At least a few million. Send it back. Sorry, I didn't get that. Oh. Send the thing back! <laughs> oh man, Luigi's Hello. voice actor has been Better doing well. Up. Holy shit. Thank you for choosing our services! That's great. I'm relieved they took it back, but uh, that definitely gave us some gray hairs. Jeez. Uh, thanks a lot for ordering that, Ryuji. Oh, come on! Who would have thought a gold bar would actually show up here? I've heard of one's mouth writing checks that cannot be cashed, but this is an entirely new level. Doesn't the service itself seem pretty awesome, though? That speed, it'll be perfect for anything we need. Let's ask Sophia to find some useful stuff for us. Shall I do that? Shh, fucking keep the goods coming. Okay. <laughs> I'll make sure to use expedited delivery. Sophia's shop is officially open. Oh god. In Sophia's online shop, I love that menu actually. You can buy and sell weapons, protectors, accessories, and items. The shop's inventory increases via story progression or certain events. Make sure you're well stocked before entering the jail. There are also shops that sell goods that aren't found online. Keep an eye out for good deals as you explore the city. Well, I'm to for better deals. Well, that was a ride, but I guess it turned out okay for us. Yeah, our supply situation's definitely fine now. We don't know what we'll be up against in the jail, though. Let's prepare as well as we can. Oh, cool. At the hideout, you can in infiltrate the jail, use Sophia's online shop, and access the Velvet Room. Other features will become available as you progress through the story. Look at the shop. What are you looking for today? Oh, Who okay, protectors. Holy Because I feel like I've been taking way too much damn damage. Kind of expensive. Mm. I wonder how much two endurance would actually give me. Mm, what have I been hit with the most? I think it's, it's electrical, right? I guess for now I'm gonna do weapon. You want to equip that? Put it to good use, okay? And. I don't want money. Oh. No, okay, let's see. Uh, so. Are you sure? All material. Are you sure? Okay, good. How many? Are you sure? Are you sure? Um. How many? Are you sure? How he get online? Bluebeard online? <laughs> Brucey not paid up net. Amazoom? <laughs> okay. Who is it for? Who is it for? Which one? Ooh, reduce physical damage. Take you skill with me. No, you want this one? Weapon. You want to reflect that? Thanks for your paint. Who is it for? I think I'm gonna take Yusuke Makoto. I guess. Nope. Oh, and. Yeah, I think that's 
Mm-hmm. When was the last time we had a briefing on how to deal with this? Let's settle down, although I admit it does have a nostalgic feel to it. But to be clear, our objective is changing Alice Hiragi's heart. Right, but right. You know that, then if we can figure out what this jail thing is while we're at it, that's even better. We need to return the desires Alice took from those people so they can go back to normal. Wait, at this rate, everyone in the world will get turned into Alice's slaves if we don't act soon. Up, however, I can. But he were to end up Joe's Wonderland before we use that, though. Make sure we have everything we need for the infiltration, right? Hmm. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Hmm. Hey. Money plus. Other limited time sales. I feel like I, sh I should get the. Oh, I still have the point. Hmm. Yeah, I got this. A certain bond skill will enable time sales in Sophia's online shop. For a limited time, specific items will be available to purchase at a lower price. Make sure you jump. Check the shop and see if I was a dumbass. Welcome. Who's it for? Looks fine. Here's a thing happening. Uh, Now's your chance to shop. Ooh. Sixty percent off. That's actually really decent. I get these, I think that's what you mean. You want this one? Thank you very much! When an item goes out of stock, it may need to be resupplied. I items like these will restock after enough time passes. By checking back after fighting battles in the metaverse or progressing through the story, there are also some items that will cease being sold and will not be restocked for the time. Uh, wait, how much can I sell that shit for? Hold up, hold up. Hold up. Oh, wait, what was it? 40. Wow, that's... that's all right. Yeah, that's gonna feel Okay. Pretty good, actually.